Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. People have gone in there and never come out again. We're looking at Earth versus the giant spider. <laughs> a giant spider? What next? Which opens with a surprisingly bloody car crash. <laughs> leaving the victim's daughter, Carol, concerned. Dad, he didn't come home last night. Fortunately, her boyfriend, Mike, is there to comfort her. So what? You know, it doesn't mean a thing. He's great at it. I mean, you know how he is. The feckless drunk. Well, he went to Springdale yesterday to buy me a present. He said he'd be back before dinner last night, but he still hasn't come back yet. Well, that doesn't mean a thing, Carol. I mean, it isn't the first time. There's like six bars between here and Springdale. They head into science class, where another question arises. If the voltage applied to these electrodes is increased to a greater amplitude... Now, uh, don't worry. I'll just ask him. It's probable that he wouldn't be harmed. We mock, but he's 35. After class, Mike and Carol head off to look for Carol's father. Funny stuff, I don't get it. Finding a curious rope-like substance strung across the road. You know, it looks like there's been a, an accident around here or something. Mike continues to comfort Carol. You know, maybe that's what happened to your old man. A hideous car crash. Locating his car, they decide to check in a nearby cave. I never believed those stories about the cave. Maybe he doesn't either. You know? There's no such thing as robot monsters. But inside... Ah! Mike! What is it? The kids run and tell the sheriff. Uh, this is Sheriff Cagle speaking. How are those exercises I recommended? He doesn't believe them, so they turn to science teacher Mr. Kingman. Naturally, I didn't call you up to get you to investigate abnormal insect life. And the entire audience yell, spiders aren't insects. One interesting thing about this film is a science teacher who believes in giant spiders sight unseen and a sheriff who doesn't believe in missing persons. Just a minute. This is a waste of time. Just because your father's smashed up truck is outside. I mean, we all know him. Glug, glug. But then... That's your father. Boy, he really must have been tearing one off this time. Come on, Jack, let's get some coffee into you. But further into the cave... And... That was easy. But Kingman wants to study it. Do you realize how easy it would be for them to overcome us humans? Well, based on that fight, not very. Obviously, I agree that a giant spider warrants some study. The wonder of it is it's perfect, Fraser. Perfect in every detail. And yet it can't take a compliment. Uh, is that something we should worry about? It's just a muscular contraction. I do wonder if the school science teacher is the man for this job, but there's no questioning the analytical facility he has instilled in his students. It's big, all right. That's an A for Billy. Two, three, four. A dead giant spider in the school hall isn't enough to disrupt band practice. <laughs> I can't stand your bland rock and roll another minute. Kingman and Cagle head for the scene. You escape, I'm going to take a nap. What's the plan now? Get off the street! Brilliant, but just in case that isn't an effective long-term solution... DDT? No good. That stuff just stunned it. Uh, stunned would be better than rampaging. Not even Kingman's wife is safe. Oh, darling! What jackass brought that thing here? This is an important point. I was all in favor of sealing off that cave some time ago while the monster was still in it. Kingman brought the thing here, put it in the school hall, and ignored the fact it was moving. Now he tries to redeem himself. The spider has returned to its cave. Cagle wants to just board up the entrance, but Kingman has a better idea. Do you have enough dynamite to blow up the cave entrance? I can blow up half that hill if you want me to. We're lost. 
Unfortunately, Carol and Mike are in the cave looking for the birthday present that Carol dropped. Don't make yourself feel bad, Carol. That's my job. But I'm sure Kingman will see their car outside and make sure it's clear before... <laughs> Parents arrive. You sealed them up. Well, I don't want to point fingers, but Mr. Kingman here. Now don't get excited. We're oh, I'm sorry. Were we excited about you burying our children to either starve or be eaten? I just remembered I've got a candy bar with me. What now? What do you say, Kingman? Oh, yeah, ask him. He's bang a thousand. Well, let's see if we can electrocute the beast. And hopefully, the children too. They decide to dig out the kids. Yeah, more dynamite. That's what this situation needs. And so on and so forth. <laughs> this is obviously the work of Mr. Big himself, Bert I. Gordon, who is not above a little self-promotion. Or even a lot. Something about puppet people. It sounds pretty wild. Frankly, I think this is one of his best. Yes, it's stupid. Mike, I can't see. <laughs> yes, the hero is massively at fault. Well, it's all right, everything's out of the cavern, I checked. Probably a coach party down there. Yes, this man is obviously 35. Hugo, we're only little kids. Mommy wouldn't let us. But it's short, fast-paced, and silly enough to be fun. We're the coolest zoologists in town. Thanks for watching. Why not head over to Tea Public and pick yourself up some Dark Corners merchandise so you can claim your exclusive bad movie review. This is in no way Earth vs. the Giant Spider. Uh, what other movies are talking a bigger game than they can deliver? Let us know in the comments below. Oh my God, I think we better go back.